Greetings, guys, and welcome back. Oh, we just caught a little bastard. Yeah. All right, so uh, we're gonna go Operation uh, Pig Hunt. Operations squeal like a pig. I don't know what other cool names we could have. Operation Skewer. Running out of ideas, guys. Operation gonna fucking smash yeah. pigs in the face with a pickaxe. Okay, but before that, uh, I think uh, we need to get some refrigeration. A refrigerator unit. Going. Gonna drop all our weapons of mass destruction. For now. And build a nice box. Oh, look at that, nearly full fantasy. Ha ah, san ha, sanity. All planned, all planned. Do we have an icebox? Put the icebox near to our crops, which failed. Okay, so I think they actually were growing fine just by virtue of it being nighttime, not being so hot. And then when the sun came out, they were like, kill me! Okay, so icebox, fairly self explanatory. All of our goods can go in here and perish slowly instead of fast quite useful um yeah if there's anything you guys are wondering about please please let me know because i'll say i think i do a lot of stuff i just take it for granted because i played this game so much um right -o. well i'll try not to take you guys for granted many evil flowers popping up everywhere uh, we are going to need to build another log suit, so let's get the ingredients. Yeah, we need ropes and logs. We have a log suit. We also have this log suit, but I'm going to keep it. Where's our... Yeah. That burning should go away, because we have our thermal stone. There we go. Yeah. Uh, do we have a spear? We do have a spear. Okay, but I think this is quite an important fight, so we're gonna have our tentacle spike. And, uh... We're gonna give them what for? Before we burn to death. Yeah. This is our old grass armor, we'll keep that too. The reason I'm keeping it is, uh... A, I just, I have to have it. But um, okay, you've asked. You, this is the last. This is the last straw, yo. Try to be nice. Only fight you at night, but you would not listen. So now you will perish. Ah, oh, this is totally ruining my plans for world domination of the pigs. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna retreat like a bunch of bastards. Because we, we're busy burning to death out here. Let's get under the shade. Come on. Shade, kick in. Kick in, shade. We need you. Now, this is why I hate summer. It's so restrictive. I mean, you can see how long the days are. It's just it's madness. It truly is. Okay, I think our um, our attack on Pig Titan is is gonna have to wait. And we're gonna run from tree to tree and hope we don't burn to death. Stay in the shade. No, stop it. The burny. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to make it mad dash. Oh my god, this is gonna be so close, guys. Seventeen. Ten. Oh shit. Are we gonna make it, guys? Are we gonna make it? No! No, we're not! Oh! And that is Don't Starve in a Nutshell. The Reign of Giants DLC. It is brutal. And that is life. Okay. 
Alright, so let's start a new world. We start from scratch. And uh, I'm going to play a lot more conservatively this time, he said. And uh, we're going to prepare for summer, but summer's going to be boring this way. I'm afraid. Okay, so, um, just cancel that, because I'm somewhat annoyed, but I still keep playing. Look, I just, I, this is how I play, I just immediately start. So just pick ourselves up and we go. But, um, I think what, what killed us, well, was my stupidity, but also, um, just, you gotta prepare, and, oh, summer, I hate playing that way, because what you have to do is, um, you have to build a whole bunch of gadgetry to keep you alive. Uh, like a siesta tent and that kind of stuff. And that gets quite boring, but boring is better than dead, so we'll do that. Hopefully what I can do is just explore more more efficiently, so that's what we'll do. It looks like we're back in like spring or maybe even autumn. Autumn would be fantastic. I'd love to show you guys winter. But winter's a lot more fun than summer. I just find summer's frustrating. You have all these epic plans, and then you, you get let tired and let hot, and then you burn to death like I did. What I could have maybe done is uh, shove the thermal stone inside Chester, keep that because I think that stone being so so piping hot that's not good. But uh, off the bat, we found a lot of biomes. We found little meadows. We found some tundra dark forest and now a swamp with reeds. We don't need reeds now, but uh, need a letter for some of the old papyrus. Okay. Plenty of tundra here. You might even find some wild beef loaves. That would be great. I think, yeah, we do have. Okay, so I'm gonna just collect some poop. And I actually think this is probably going to be... Oh, this is a very nice place to have a base, I think. Uh, we're near to a swamp. It doesn't look like a particularly big swamp. So we just get all the advantages, like... Um, um, we get the reeds and that kind of thing without all the rest of the horrors, like the mermen. Merman! And, uh, and other things. We've got a pickaxe, which we sorely need, and some flint. Great. So now, we just need a few more tweaks. So let's get some tweaks. Oh, and we found our first relic. A round thing. A ring thing. Okay. Cool. Uh, we should be alright. I'll put my little torchy thingy on. Uh, okay, pickaxe needs two tweaks needs to be extra reinforced for all the impact, obviously. Yeah, we do have a pickaxe, but it only has 15. It's a bit of a jerk. Okay, yeah, we'll build up pickaxe numero two. I think what we need to do is find a nice big tree, like this one, chop it down. Um, I think I'm gonna head up this way, follow the path, explore as much as the map as possible, get a good lay of the land, find out where Glomer is hiding and figure out when the full moon is, get Glomer the first time. I didn't go into Glomer too much before I died so, so horrendously. Um, so Glomer, right, um, he is adorable but um, he poops this like weird green Glomer gloop. And what Glomer Goop does is it heals you. It heals you by a lot. I think it heals you like 50 a pop, 50 HP. But um, at the cost of quite a big uh, sanity drain. You go quite crazy when you do because you're eating this green, I mean pink poop. Um, which probably tastes a lot better than it looks. Coming out of something as cute and nectar filled as, as Glomer. But anyway. And uh, his other perk is he can't carry stuff like Chester can, but um, if you're nearby to him, uh, like pretty much standing on him, uh, you gain sanity, uh, which is very useful for free. Um, so his cute cuddliness just keeps you, keeps you in a good frame of mind. 
Okay, we are gonna ignore the Knights of Stones for now. I want gold. Gold is useful. We can make uh, electrical doodads and uh, stuff. Okay, our pickaxe is broken. Okay, we've got a bit of wood. But I think, uh, I think what we're probably gonna do is we're just gonna run through the night with our torch. Get the lay of the land, find out where things like the Pig King is. Ah, uh, here's the ice glaciers. Okay, right. We found some ice glaciers. We're gonna need to mine that before summer, I think. Once we've established our base. Because what you can do then is you can pack your freezer. Oh, we found another relic. We're gonna roll, guys. We really are. I'm gonna get that. Burn this down. Hey, we get a free axe here too. Fantastic. Very good. Um, right. I'm gonna go crazy with the sanity, all the fire around, it's making it very happy. I'm gonna get dry. Great. Cool. Stop raining, we'll dry by ourselves. It's useful. Uh, yeah, we don't need pine cones. Get some extra flint for free. Why not? Uh, let's equip this guy before we forget. It's kind of hard to forget when the whole screen goes black and it's pitch black. But you never know. Okay, so I think we got to, what, 26 days last time? Uh, it was a pretty good video just to showcase basic survival mechanics. And, and and the bit, the virtues of, of not burning to death. It's always good. We're gonna try and get a lot further this one and I'm gonna see if I can actually make the videos a little bit shorter. Uh, but I get so sucked into this game, it's unreal. You have these all these little objectives you have to do and then uh, next thing you know it's like an hour long video. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're running around in the dark, we're freezing apparently. I'm not worried about freezing though. Freezing you can deal with. I have a fire implement in my hand. There's a very short list of things in this game that can't be set on fire. Oh look, we're no longer freezing. Probably because we're nearly dry. So yeah, when you're wet, you're more likely to freeze. I mean, it's quite intense. Yeah, I think we have more than enough grass to be getting on with. So it looks like I can spot another biome up there. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna smash north. It takes forever for you to dry naturally, but we'll be dry soon. Okay, we can hear the beefalo. They're snoring their heads off. So what's cool is, uh, later on when you invent a razor, when they're sleeping, you can, uh, shear them. Uh, and you can only do it at night. Uh, while they're sleeping. Uh, and if they catch you doing it, sometimes they wake up. They catch you doing it, they're really pissed off and they'll try and kill you. But uh I don't think I've been caught too severely. Oh, I think we found another relic. This looks familiar. Yeah, it's a bit hard to see during the day. Ah, yeah. So this this relic area is really interesting. It uh it always has these three three farms. A shovel. Uh so I'm gonna pick these carrots and we give it to this bastard. Yeah, have this. Okay, he's gonna shit it out. That's great. I need the poop. I don't need it. I just want it. Okay, we're gonna drop the nitre here. We don't need it yet. We're gonna get a... A, uh, potato thing. Okay, so we've got relics for days. So, uh... I think... I think we're good. This is a superb place for a base. So I think uh, we'll build the, the base here. In this rich loamy area, we've got access there. We've got a lot of beefs nearby. Uh, we've got some fields with happiness and joy. We have, um, oh my god, is that a vulture? Okay, we have a mining quarry here and we have ponds nearby to fish. So I think we've got like all the good things really close by. 
Uh, so I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to build our base. Need a bit of wood. For a science machine, we need wood, which we're going to get now. Okay, we've got plenty of wood. That's great. Got a spade. We usually need to invent the spade. Or reinvent it, should I say. Um, but uh, we got the spade for free. From the site with the potato thing we just picked up. This thing. Which is a relic. And, uh, oh, hopefully I'll be able to showcase what the spade thing actually does this time. I mean, not the spade thing, the potato thing. God. Spade thing. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm just chopping a whole lot of trees so I can waste this axe. Liberate some, uh, space in the inventory. That would be great. I try to go for, um fully grown trees, they're uh, a little bit less of a waste of time, because uh, a fully grown tree will give you three lumber, um, three lumber and uh, two pine cones, and smaller trees only give you one or two lumber. <gasps> Holy shit, look at this guys, we found Chester. Well done us. Okay, this is, this is significant. This is fantastic. This means I can dump all of this shit in here. And uh, I was going to build a base to um, just a store, I mean to like research a uh, backpack. But now I don't need a backpack so we can just, we can keep on um, exploring. So yeah, let's let's jump through one of these, I didn't show you last time. Okay, you go through the uh, sphincter and you pop out another sphincter and look at that, we've covered from there, we've teleported to here. Uh, it's not too big a jump. But uh, it's interesting, nonetheless. Do we the hammer? We need a new biome. This is a fascinating biome. I love this biome. So we're going to build a... Uh, build a hammer, and we can break these bones, and we get these bone shards. And uh, we can do battle with these naughty... Oh, let's get this. Yeah, we can do battle with these things. So these, um... The pile of skeletons there. Oops. They, um, they generate these dogs perpetually. So, it's quite a nice place to get monster meat for free. Okay, and the rule of thumb is you, um, you hit them twice, you run away. That's your attack window. Advanced kiting mechanics. Oh, I ate a meat! Oh, I took a knot to the sanity. Okay. Well, it had to happen. So you'd believe me. Okay, here we go. Okay, we've got to respect this, though. We could take a bit of unnecessary damage. Okay, we got our first tooth, that's kind of what I wanted. And they generally, they take, uh, I think, five hits with the spear and six, hit with, six hits with the, the, with the, with the axe. Okay, and uh, Chester is tanking magnificently. Oh, we're burning things down. Not a problem. Okay, I'm gonna break one of these. So we have we can stem the tide, and we get a whole bunch of nifty goodies. Yeah, and uh, Chester's distracting that guy magnificently. Yeah, we've got like a lot of months to meet now. I mean, not tons. But you know, a fair amount. Okay. Uh, and the teeth are the things I really want. The teeth are great. I like the teeth. Oh, I didn't obey my own rule. Now I'm paying for it. All right. I think we need to get out of here. This is not a good, not not not, a, not the greatest place to be. Um, 
We're losing a lot of health. So we're gonna leave. Okay, except for this guy, he's asking for it. Asking for it, I say, and then I take a little cheeky love tap. Okay, so I don't like wandering the desert at night. Um, a little bit scary. As I say, the, uh, the, the hounds, they love to breed in the deserts. This is their natural breeding ground. Break that quickly. Be in absolute darkness briefly. Okay, I think uh, we're gonna leave the desert. This has been fun, this has been real. But uh, it's no place for a little girl. It's really not. Okay, so I'm gonna show you another quite neat little trick. So we're wearing armor. Oh, and we're freezing. Okay. Uh, let's, let's let's get rid of this freezing situation first. Stand like right on the fire. Oh, like on the fire. There we go. Keep the sanity up. So we should be fighting our imagination very shortly. So actually, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pop a proper axe, 100%. Axe is quite cheap. It takes one flint and one twig. Pickaxe is the same damage, but it costs more, and shovel as well costs more, does the same damage. So, best bang for your buck early is the uh, is the axe. And burn this charcoal, liberate some space. Let's make some grub. Oh, we're in pokey battle. Okay, this could take some time, but we'll eat some grub in between. Keep us uh, nourished. Oh, it's on us! Oh, oh the fire is running really low. Okay, let's let's get this in the meantime. Up. Uh, it's daytime, but day or night, we have to fight our imagination. Okay, we'll collect the ash. Oh, and we got him. Okay. Imagination is down. Repeat. Imagination is down. Okay, we're gonna fight this other bastard. Have at ye. Stuff our face with a little power snack on the way. Oh, we got a free hit in when he teleported on us. Take that, you bastard. Oh, and he's run away. He's run away like a real bastard. Okay. That's okay. He'll be back. There he is. Yeah. Roar! And uh, those little tumbleweeds. Fantastic little free resource, actually. Because um, they they just spawn in the desert. I don't know, there might be a finite amount of them. I haven't been able to ascertain that. Yeah, so we're very wet. Doing very nuts. So I don't think this is over between us and our imagination. I really don't. There's the next contender, and this is going to be a thing until we get dry. Okay, so uh, we can get dry. So the easiest thing to do is find a tree and set it on fire. And since we're invulnerable, we also gain a little bit of sanity from it, which is great. Let's see, there's a wolf up there. And our lights is also a weapon. Oh, 
Oh shit, we have a raptor. We have an imaginary raptor. A little bit realer than your imagination, I would say. Uh, fortunately, their um, attack cycle pretty predictable. Uh, the raptor is the one I'm actually the most afraid of, though. Fuck, we're nearly dead. Alright, so we just click the replay button all over again. So yeah, the, the Reign of Giants is really difficult. Like, this rain in particular, exceedingly hard. Um, I think what I need to do now is... And every time you die, you try and figure out what went wrong. So, I think that time, it was just the rain, just sh the rain of Castamere just shrieking us. Um, so, w what we need then to counter the rain is... Plenty, plenty of grass. I think one of our other problems was uh, I was greedy and I took on the I took on the, the wolves and took a little bit too much damage. So then when we were fighting the imaginary things, uh, we had not as big a health pool to fight with. But this is, this is what Don't Starve's about. If you're upset about dying over and over again for your own stupidity, then uh, don't play this game. Um, that's the thing. And most of the times, particularly when I get far, like 100 plus days, um, <laughs> you just kick yourself because you're like, ah, oh, I should fight these bees with 2 HP. I can totally trust my kiting skill. And then you did. Um, okay, so this is also a very interesting map. Um, I actually really like the last map. I'm kicking myself for not establishing a base. Or just not fighting. We should not fight when we're squishy. My rule, which I never follow, but it's my rule, is uh, you try and only engage when you have... Um, engage in really risky fights when you have log armor. So, um, we can watch this. This is going to be fun. The Royal Rumble. The uh, Mermen versus the versus the Pigmen. We can quickly um, get our pull up in their grill. But what's quite nice is if the if the Mermen win, that's quite good for us uh, because the Mermen will take some losses and we'll get these. The Mermen are infinitely spawning as long as their huts there. But um, we want the mermen to win because the mermen don't eat meat. They're, uh, I don't know, they're like frogs. They eat kelp and shit. Well, not kelp, but algae. Um, so yeah, we want the, we want the mermen to win. Because if the pigs win, then the pigs will eat all the meat that's left over. Okay, so this looks like the uh, mermen one. It's great. Uh, so we've got a whole bunch of gnarly things, we've got some fish, we've got some frog legs, we get fish or frog legs from the mermen, because they're fish frog things, and we got all the meat from the pigs. So overall that was great. Well, great for the mermen. A triumph for mermen everywhere. And I don't know what's up with that, the, this, uh, this is not a swamp, but this mermen's cottage, the little shack. Um, it spawns randomly, and then the first for the first week there will be pigs around there too. Uh, so a lot of the times if you find a um, a mermaid shack in the middle of nowhere and it's unoccupied you might see a whole bunch of rot around it if you come up to it after day 10 and that's probably because the pigs have lost against the mermen and the meat that they drop uh, has degenerated into rot. But uh, I like the, I like observing the Royal Rumbles. My my favorite is to um, head into the swamp and then watch spiders, mermen, pigs, and and tentacles just have at it. 
The risk with that is you might be watching a Royal Rumble and then you might be underneath a tentacle which pops out the ground and eats you up whilst you're busy watching. It's happened more than once. Not to me, because I'm super good at this game. I wouldn't die at like day three or anything, right? Yeah. But uh, this playthrough will be better. Like I promised the last playthrough would be. Oh, day three, too soon. So I'm just, I'm getting a lot of gold. I'm ignoring the nighter. Don't need nighter yet. It's just gonna take up space. Gold is useful. We can use it to make electrical doodads with some cut stone. We also need it as the base template for our science machine. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. We nearly capped out. Don't need to build another pickaxe, I'm just taking space. We've got nearly 40 stone, which is maximum, 20 gold, which is maximum, and uh, a healthy amount of flint. We can pick up some more flints along the way. Okay. So the reign of giants continues, day one, it's raining again. out the stone, great, we can all the rest of the stone. Mm, there's a portal, let's see, maybe we can cover some interesting ground. It also takes a bit of game time, so it takes a couple, it takes a couple ticks, so you'll see it's nearly night time, and where the fuck are we? Holy shit, so we zoomed the map out fully here, we've gained a shitload of ground. That's fantastic. And it's night time, and we found another funny oddity in the game. So I'll approach that during the day. It's terrifying at night. Have a flower. Get some illumination. Okay, let's see about um, drying off somewhat. Okay, we've got our straw hat going. So I think this uh, this rain is the root of all evil. It really is. Okay, we're wet, so we're losing sanity, even though we're. Um, on the fire that Willow loves so much. Okay, it looks like the rain is... It's abating somewhat. Not much, but somewhat. Okay, and I can hear some spiders. So let's see, hopefully we don't set the whole forest ablaze, that would be orgies. Okay. So this is good. It's no longer raining, we're Getting drier by the second. Set this one right. It's not, not too close to its friends. Trust me, forest fires. With this character, it's con it's fairly chill because she's immune. But uh, all the other characters, it's terrifying. Okay, so uh, we're dry and we're not losing sanity. This is very good for us. Okay, so I, I'd love to just kill a few spiders, but um, I think what we really need to do is we need to establish a good site of operations for our base. So let's let's review. Uh, actually, ironically enough, I think the start of the game is a really good spot. Um, just saying. Greetings, guys, and. Yeah. 
Alright, sorry, I was just checking something... Checking something on my recording. Sometimes if my uh, <laughs> recording software is not set up just so, I, uh, in my eagerness, I, I start recording and uh, I don't have sound or something awkward like that. And then I'm like nattering on, dying pointlessly, and it's all for naught. Okay, uh, what is this? Bird trap. Oh, fantastic. These are quite rare. We're gonna eat some seeds. There we go. Delicious. Mmm. Oh, we have a bush hat. Um. Hmm. Oh, I hear a fight. We must have missed it. Okay, the pigs have got this. The pigs have totally got this. But this is a fantastic little sight. And I'm gonna see if I can get a pig to follow me. I'm gonna feed him some, uh. Delicious monster meat. We can rotate the camera to see. Okay. And he helps us mine. He helps us chop down trees too. That's fantastic. Very good. Okay. So, okay, this is a fantastic little uh, place to bear in mind though. I like it a lot. I'm gonna keep our bush hat on. It doesn't perish like the uh, straw hat. And, uh, what, what does it do again? I need, how do you activate it? Oh, there. You can turn into a bush. Uh, I think you can hide away from some creatures. They don't know you're there. I think there's some kind of interaction with, um, turkeys. Turkeys, they, um, they live in the normal bushes that your camouflage, your hat is camouflaged at. And, uh, they eat the berries, which is a pain. Uh, but they also spawn out of the bushes. They live in the bushes. And uh, if you can set traps around the bushes, you can um, you can you can capture turkeys as well. But um, let's see if he's gonna eat this. Oh, he is. Okay, he's gonna drop a huge dookie. Okay, uh, so they don't like the the darkness. Okay. And now uh, they're all spiders, and a single spider is no threat, so we can take him out. And his friends are gonna arrive, but we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave. And we're just gonna do this like cheesy hit and run vibe. I'm gonna get some of these delicious, delicious mushrooms. And uh, what can I dump in favor of the mushrooms? Uh, yeah, I suppose we can eat these. They'll be better cooked, but um. As the ancient uh, Romans used to say, YOLO. Okay, we're gonna take this guy. I don't like him following. What did he drop for us? Oh, a gland. So we're gonna put it here in the open. We can come back for it. I don't like it when they hide behind trees. Um, there are graveyards here, so we can do a spot of pillaging. Alright. So, um, we have the, the, the famous swamp. Oh, and we have this other thing here. So, um, this area is such a top. So basically, um, there are spiders hiding away. And then when you try and get in here, the spiders attack you. In fact, this might be the spider in question. Um, but it's, it's basically, it's a trap area. It's very difficult. And without armor, you don't want to go there. But it's also one of those like random relic type areas that just spawn in the game. And uh, some games have them and some areas don't. It's kind of like that uh, fire star we had in the very very first playthrough. Oh my god, we had such a good s game going there. Had the fire star for free. <sighs> so bad. Okay, uh, and I love this area, but um, I love the fact that we have it, access to it. Don't get me wrong, but uh, the swamp's not a very good place to camp out. So we're gonna see if we can if we can get out of here. There's a oh, there's a new land. There's new land on the side here. Oh, and we have robots nearby. Oh, they're the robots. So we can kill them. They're quite difficult to kill on account of being robots. But if we can kill them, they will drop gears for us and other treasures. 
Okay, so there's another land just here. I'm just trying to see if they connected somewhere. That would be fantastic. That really would be. Ah, it seems like we found the connecting point. Great. Okay, so I'm not worried about sanity at all. Uh, we can eat some cooked green mushrooms. And everything will be okay. Okay, so I'm liking this. It's not bad. In fact, if we keep going, we might connect up where, where we want our base to be. Oh, oh, look at this, look at this. We found, we found the Glomer statue. And the pan pipes. Yeah, we're gonna keep this here, it's not a problem. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, we found Glomer. We're doing well, guys. I have high hopes for this episode. So, I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, yeah. I'm gonna run through the night, if I can. Just keep an eye out, because Chester typically spawns on this kind of terrain. And he usually is actually at the end of these roads, this, um, this like yellow brick road. I've found him many times, right at the end, just sitting in the grass. Okay, oh, there's also a desert by him. I am decided. This is what we shall do, chaps. Oh, oh, there's something here. There are huge monsters. There are robots in the dark. Oh my god. Oh, and it hurts like shit. Oh fuck, I'm getting out of here. Oh my god. This is a bad idea. Running through the dark. might be like one of the all-time chart toppers for bad ideas okay well now we can see what's killing us great uh, I'm gonna cook this fish look how neat that looks like a little sushi parcel it's goddamn delicious oh, just smashing it in my face I'm gonna keep the rest of the resources because um, we can make interesting things with that I'm gonna keep my sanity low-ish um, let's get it a bit higher, actually. Just that creepy fucking music can stop. Oof. That was a wild, uh... What the fuck is that? Oh, it's the goats. There are goats that wander the desert. Not sure where they are. They're getting louder. Oh, here they are. They're sleeping. They um they get struck by lightning and then one goes like Super Saiyan when it's struck by lightning. Like it actually looks like a Super Saiyan. Oh, it's all golden and shit. Okay, so I wanna I wanna see if I can cross this land barrier. This uh this gulf. Okay. And uh, oh we ran straight oh this is where we this is where we dump the things, guys. So I don't really want to go inside there because it's terrifying, but I can maybe rotate so we can see. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of statues we can chop down for marbles. These things shoot projectiles, that thing charges you, and that thing also charges you. We dump... Okay, we're having a little standoff. We dump all the things onto this altar, and it builds, and it turns into some terrifying portal to Maxwell's next next level. But it's, it's, well, it's well guarded by these uh, clockwork creatures. Uh, and that thing pretty much half health me two shots without my armor on, so yeah. You uh you gotta respect them or you get tricked. Yeah, okay, uh we might these islands might not even be connected. I don't know. Uh maybe. Otherwise we're gonna have to jump back in the portal and it's going to teleport us up here ah, and there we go or if I keep walking up here it might connect around it's, it's just it's too hard to predict at this point or there could be a little connecting bit there to check okay back onto straw hat want to minimize the effects of this pain in the ass rain uh, I'm getting hungry it's not too bad there are plenty of berries around Let's see, this might actually start connecting now. It looks like we've got connection, guys. That's great. Oh, and we found Chester. Oh my goodness. And it ended at the brick road, like I said. So that seems to be like a, a common trend 
for the old Chester. Oh, I'm so happy to have you here, you adorable bastard. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna trap this. Um... Oh, I think that only came out at dusk. He was busy having his ah, snack. Okay. All right, this is looking better. Get some berries. Berries. Delicious. Let's run on the path. We always run a bit faster on the path. Uh, we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna build the uh, build the base, and then I'm gonna stop the video there. Alrighty. So that lady's got her priorities right. Okay, so what I think is, yeah, I'm gonna build my base here near this berry bush. What do we need still? Oh, we need stone. We've got lots of stone. It's just not accessible in our inventory. All right, we're gonna build our base here, nice in the middle. Yeah, this is nice. It's like quite contained. It's defended by one side because of the lay of the land. I like it. I'm gonna build a backpack. Invent a backpack. Sanity goes up by 15. Great. We're gonna invent a shovel. Goes up by another 15. And we're gonna invent. Yes, cut stone. Great. Good, good, good. Okay, now we're pretty close to our 120 max. That's great. Gotta move our shovel here. I like having it here because you can bind it. This is numpad too. It's all bound to hotkeys. Very useful. Yeah. And uh, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna replant the forest here. Oh, 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 oh! We, I hear some fighting. Okay. Um, no, that's not yours. Fine. Yeah, and we're gonna fight these guys. Oh, okay, we're not gonna fight them, we're gonna run away. There are many of them. Too many. Okay, sometimes they um they, they latch onto Chester. So all we need to do is just wait. Oh we have a magic magic mushroom circle here too, guys. Man, fantastic, outstanding. Oh, we attracted the wrath of a few spiders. Fine, we can deal with them in small numbers. They're really easy in like small numbers. When they're like there's like eight of them. That's where the problem lies. Okay, we're gonna build a fire pit. Okay, we're gonna get that uh, the rest of that stuff out. And then what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna make a whole bunch of cut stone. Just gonna see what do we need? Okay, we need lots of cut stone and a couple of electrical doodads. Great. Good. What I wanted to do before we were so rudely interrupted is uh let's relocate a few resources a bit closer. We'll do that. Uh let's shove that in yeah. Oh, look at this, this is like Spider Central. Okay. I usually burn down little baby trees and then chop down the big trees. It's just my little system. Couldn't explain why that's the case. I think it's just the best value. The small trees are gonna give no resource, not many resources anyway. Gotta just unearth all of these um, resources here. Oh, night time. We're gonna head back to base. Don't wanna be caught out. In the open, we're busy starving, not a problem. Right, are we. 
Okay, so we could really use a um, croc box. We need cut stone, which we dumped inside Chester. Where are you, boy? Yeah, got Chester on the case. Let's move all these resources. Ah, yeah. uh, yes. I think a croc pot's a very good idea. Right. So we're getting a bit cold. So we should probably throw some logs on the fire. Now that's a fire. Okay, and we're gonna cut it mighty fine. We've got low on hunger. We can always eat. I don't actually know what we can eat. Throwing all our berries into the uh, into the crock pot. Okay, we're gonna have to burn a or eat a frog leg. Stable for hunger. Come on, crock pot. Ooh, look at this. It's just what the doctor ordered. Okay, so uh, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and see if I can tempt a... tempt something delicious out of this crock pot now. Let's see. Chop this down, it's too close to my base. Don't like it. Oh yeah, okay, that's exactly what I want. A meaty stew. Alright, and this is making me hungry, which reminds me I should probably sign off before I also starve. That would be bad. You'd have no videos of me dying pointlessly. Think about that. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Alright, I'm not going to get sucked in further. Uh, join me next time where we try not to die pointlessly. We've beaten our record uh, previously. Day 3 was the last playthrough. But I think our all-time record with you and I is, what, day 30-something? I'm trying, trying to exceed that. Get the resources together. Uh, yeah, so catch us next time. What are we going to do? Uh, I think we just need to amass more basic resources like grass and stuff. Um, and then explore the map further. So we're going to head down south. We've got Kilometer on the horizon. We have... Um, this area here is this little camp. There's some rope and traps and shit we can pick up. Always useful. Whole bunch of uh, graves we can dig up, but we don't really know where the pig king is, so uh, we might just explore around here and down here. The pig king usually lives in these meadow areas. So, yeah. That'll be next time. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, please leave comments, rage at how bad I am, or what I could build, or what you'd like to see me do. Uh, I'm just going with some interesting things I've read and some of the tactics I usually employ, but I'm actually playing differently to how I usually play. Uh, not the badly part, I always play badly, but uh, just changing it up so I don't get bored. Alright guys. Uh